Hi, today we will talk about the GDPR support of Apache Ozone, especially about the support of the right to be forgotten uh, rule, which is especially tricky with async delete, but not with Ozone. So first of all, if you are interested about more details, there is a very good presentation from the last Apache Con by Dinesh. So feel free to check the long version. Here we will just check a quick overview. So let's say we have an Ozone cluster. This is the good old Ozone distribution. And as you probably know, we have this compost folder, which contains multiple docker compose based cluster setup so i can start it with docker compose up as usually but today i will start it with uh, the helper script so i'm just setting the replication factor to three and i will say that okay run everything at the background which will configure the ozone by default to wait until we have three data nodes and the default replication factor will be three so if it's started, I can just go to one of the nodes. Let's say I'm inside the SCM and I can create a volume, create wall one. I can create a bucket, which is the second level in the hierarchy, bucket, create wall one, bucket one. And I can upload a key, also sh key put, it's supposed to be key one. And let's say I'm uploading the key. So it's uploaded. I can check the information about this key. And we can see that this is replicated with Redis to three data nodes. I have only three data nodes. So it should be very easy to find the raw data on the disk on the data node. So just go to the same compost cluster, log into the data node, all of the persistence state is under the slash data and check what do we have. So we have some metadata of the containers and here is the row block data. So let's check what is inside this block. And you can see that this is the, the pure readme file. Okay, let's try to delete this key. Ozone sh key delete slash wall one bucket one key one. Okay, it's deleted. Ozone sh key list wall one bucket one. And we don't have any key in this bucket. But if I go back to the data node, I still see the block file and the content is still there. Why? Because the deletion process is an async process. So if I go back to the SCM, let's try to understand what do we have here. So this is the uh, SCM host. So there should be an SCM database here. This is a local rocks DB. Uh, which is read only by the ozone, but there is an ozone debug tool which can list the content. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm not there, right? So let's go to the SCMDB and try to list. Yes, so I have these column families. So let's check one column family with scan column family equals deleted blocks. So we have a separated space where all of the blocks which should be deleted are stored. And if I list it, you can see that this is some kind of to do list. So this block eventually will be deleted. So the SCM will send this information to the data node and the data node will eventually delete the block. But until that, you can see the content anytime on the data node. So that's, that's the problem from the point of view of uh, GDPR, because if the user requests to delete the data, it should be deleted immediately and it should be unavailable for everybody.
it's not acceptable if it's still the data is still there, even if the metadata is missing. So what can we do? Let's go back to the SCM and create another bucket. Bucket create. But here we will use a flag, this enforce GDPR. So create slash one bucket two and with enforce GDPR flag. And let's try to put the another file to bucket one key one. So this is to the and let's say I'm uploading this license. Okay, this is uploaded. So let's go back to the data node. The previous one, the previous block name is ending with 304. So let's check if we have any new block. Yes, I have a new block and we can try to check it. Okay, let's check. Oh, and what we see is that it's not readable anymore. So this is something which seems to be encrypted. Okay, what is it? Okay, let's check what in the what's in the Ozo Manager database. So I'm just going to the Ozo Manager. Here I also have a database. It's supposed to be the database of the key space management, so I expect to have some uh, information about the keys, buckets, volumes. But let's check, check first the available column families. Yes, I have open key table, volume table, bucket table. So let's check the bucket table. Column family equals bucket table with keys. Okay, and here is my key. Wall one. Oh no, this is just the bucket, right? This is the bucket two. And we can see that there is a metadata that is GDPR enabled. So let's try to check the key table. Okay, this is the persistent state of my key with all of the information that is under wall one, bucket one, key one is the name. And here we can see that the metadata GDPR enabled through and a secret and an algorithm. Okay, what can I do with this secret? Yeah, so the expectation is that I can read the content of the key only with having this secret. So let's try to go back to the data node. And let's try to use this key somehow. First of all, I need the OpenSSL package just to do some uh, Encryption or the encryption. Okay. And I need this uh, key in a hexadecimal format. So I can just uh, convert it to hex with some Linux command line uh, magic. Okay. So this is the hexa key. So let's go back to the data node. I have the block. So let's try to decrypt it. I have this open SSA co command and I can define the algorithm. Okay, I have the key. I would like to decrypt and I have the file and this was the decrypted file. And yes, this is decrypted. So this seems to be the license file itself. So it turned out that all of the keys are encrypted with a very custom generated secret. What does it mean? So it means that if I sh key remove the key itself, then the metadata will be deleted. So key remove, key re, key delete. So I deleted the key one. The secret is no longer available for any of the uh, the key, yeah, there is no, no metadata entry anymore. So even if I have the block file here, there is no chance to read it because I don't have the secret in the system anymore. So this data is nothing more just garbage from now.
because the, the secret itself is deleted. So this is how Ozone can support this right to be forgotten, because if we delete the secret, which is required to read the data, it doesn't matter if the real deletion is async or sync, it's unavailable. The data couldn't be read anymore. So that's the quick overview of the GDPR support. Again, if you are interested about the more about more details, please check this YouTube video.